Well, welcome back to the Imagine Cruising William Door Bowls Championships for 2023. Next game up, World Open Singles for you. It's Mark Dawes taking on Michael Stepney. One more match for you today. That will be the evening session for your entertainment at 7.30. will be David Gourlay, MBE, who will play Nick Brett. Straight to the portable rink now, and we're going to hand you over to the BBC. Thank you very much. Yes, the first players out for this match. First out, we have a former Scottish Open and World Pairs runner-up with numerous national titles to his name, including singles, pairs, triples and fours championship titles. Welcome out. World number 10 from Scotland, Michael Stepney. Maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this. His opponent has five WBT titles to his name, including two times World Pairs champion and current UK Open trophy holder, as well as being two times former world champion. Please put your hands together for number five in the world, England's Mark Dawes. <laughs> Thank you, Rishi. Mark Dawes gets the first jack cast. Two sets of nine ends, of course. Three end tie break, as opposed to the Paris final, which is 11 yeah, ends. And, a half meters. and the singles final will be 11 ends as well. That's for much better than that from the first two balls. No, this is a match that we're looking forward to. Should be some really high quality stuff. <laughs> two players haven't had much time on the One ring green. between matches, they only get a couple of ends. They would have been practicing quite a bit from the previous matches, and I think that's the important side of it. Put the time in on the rink. If you don't put the time in, chances are you're not going to feel comfortable. into the shot clock situation of 30 seconds of course with timeouts. <coughs> and quite often balls just drop a little bit short on that forehand. And you move from the back on it's got the Impression the backhand is just slightly quicker. It's been confirmed by a few players, they believe that in this direction. Mm. 
Mike just looking to get back to the red. Bowl over the top. Good effort. Yes, it'll be interesting to see if Mark decides to stick with the forehand. He's looking to trail the jack just a little bit, draw it up to it, and he touches it. It's a bonus. He makes two. The backhand is available, especially with that extra shoulder now. Needs a slight correction on his weight. Oh, he's very, very close. Very close here. Not too much on the jack, That's though. a little touch only. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, really unlucky. Don't think he'll do much with that. Agreed. He's going to take the one. And declared. <laughs> one shot, Mike Stepney. And Mark just coming in, getting the jack, which is what he wanted. Just slightly too far. His ball falling back. Still one Zero down. Zero one, first in. Jack length, 24 metres. Good again. <laughs> uh, it's freeing the jack a bit, but... Uh, that last, ball, that. last ball's two and a half inches short of jack high. Well, still a nice shoulder to come off on the draw. Key to this game will very, be very much along the lines of making sure that Michael can keep up with Mark Dawes or beat him with the first two balls. We all know he's very, very good at the running shots. Favour one red. <laughs> That's not the answer Mike wanted at all. No, it never is. <laughs> but I am inclined to believe Dan Blewett. Yeah, we'll put our faith in him. Coming back from there. Moving now, has he got enough to lift his own bolt? Yes, he has, and it's gone back. Yes, but it would have shuffled a little bit. Yep. Another one in the area. No, I don't think there's any doubt now. It's one to red. That little push is enough on the carpet just to move it a fraction or two, and that confirms it. Oh, 
I can draw another shot, but my goodness me, it's narrow. I guess it'll be a very careful one. Really not a time to give the shot away. Cautious draw, as predicted. I'm surprised you went down to bother with it, to be truthful with what you. Shot, Mark Dawes. I don't think you had any interest in it. Always a difficult session to play in the second so game in the one, afternoon. Quite of a tendency to take a break after the first game and then they filter their way back in again and that can be quite disruptive but at the same time all part of it Jack Lamp, 24 metres Two inches short of Jack Kelly. Thank you. Just fighting to get green. back on that one. Big bias ball, but. Uh, Quite often in the second session, a lot of players say that the green just changes a little bit. That's probably because the crowd goes out, the temperature changes, so the, atmos uh, the atmospheric conditions are different. And on a fast running green, that can actually be uh, as much as two feet, maybe a yard. Stephanie's wife, Ellen, and his daughter, Orla. No doubt Alexander's away practicing his table tennis. He's superb in that and infinitely better than his dad. Mark's got the green ball here. Jack, where's it going? Yeah, he's not totally happy with the result because clean ball was better. Yeah, moving on, the jacks just opened it up a little bit for Mike Stegg and me to get in. Three red and a measure. Well, he's lying a lot of shots, but uh, there is definitely a considerable amount of space. Decent looking line with this. Is he up? Well, he's up enough to, to sort of get second shot, I think. <laughs> One shot, Mark Dawes. If you're not going to get the first shot, at least so take something off, and that's experience. exactly what he managed to do, Michael Stepney. Yeah. 
two really good players out here for this match. You know, known both of them for quite some time. Michael Stepney even more through internationals and coming over to Belfast for these qualifiers. Exactly. Over and quite a bit this. before he got into the top 16. To me, Mark Dawes plays a very pure game. Brilliant start again. Super drawer to the jack. Can play the running balls, but his game is focused very much on the draw. And he's a machine. Once he gets going, he's absolutely relentless. Very small gap. Mm. Touching enough to change hands because you don't want to bring the jack out into the open. Look at this. Yeah, it's good. Another chance to try and use his own ball. Certainly worth arriving to this with a little bit of extra weight. Here it's it comes. Really good here. Got the bow on the jack. Oh. Great ball. Played it really well. One green. Well, as you know, Shan, bowlers want the perfect result every time. Ball out clean was better. Jack clean was better. Yep. Yeah, it got both, just increased the distance between the bowl and the, the shot bow and the jack, but still got it nonetheless. Nope, not there. Perfect line once again. Look at that grouping of four balls. <laughs> just a little bit short. This is a good chance for two shots now. Available both sides. Whatever he feels more comfortable on. Yeah. Well played. Very good. Two of it. Very good. Conversion and then the draw. Two shots, Mike Stepney. Set score two three after four. Yeah. Family Stepney. All in green. Yes, supporting their da uh, their husband and dad in the uh, in green. Yep, absolutely. Jack length twenty five meters. Michael Stepney's big break came in 2017 as 
Runner up in the Scottish Open. The Dewar Centre in Perth. Previously played in the World Pairs, was runner up in 2011, but we're looking at singles here, and that was massive to him with the ranking points that came along with it. Over the years, he's made very good progression from 2016, 85 to 33, 16, 13, 13, and now 10. So it's been good, steady stuff. Off his front bowl there, one green gone, everything gone by one actually. The slightest of touches off the red, get him into the head. Cleared it out a bit. Not a bad ball in front and close enough to make it difficult to beat. No choice, Mark Dawes has to go back to the draw shot. Both these players don't waste any time on the mat. They were not too worried about the shot clock. Yep, that will wiggle off. Oh, goodness. That was a really good wiggle. <laughs> Te technical term there, Shan. Yeah, too technical great. term. Finish really well. Just gets a touch off the front. Shot no. bowl, but more importantly, it's a really good position. Makes it harder for Mark. Yes, normally we would call that a wick, but uh, it looked more like a wiggle to me glide, on that occasion. Glide, I'd say. Yeah, glide. It'll take that. It was in the area, that's for sure. Oh, look at this. This is great stuff. Oh, oh what a ball. Oh, what a ball. And Mike Stepney is clapping that one. Uh, he must wonderful have thought, boat. Oh, he must have thought he was in. Shot, Mark Dawes. Set so score, 3-3 three, three after five ends. Mark Dawes, two down. Perfect draw. Jack round the corner. Brilliant. That's what we expect from him. It is, yep. Length 25 metres. Mark Dawes won the a tour card event, which got him into all of the events. On the singles events, that is, and uh, on the tour back then, I took full advantage and he's moved up the rankings in a very nice way from six years ago, from 12, all the way up to now at five. and. Uh, Showing very good form. 
twice world champion now, which was massive to him, changed the whole standing within the, the sport. Won the pairs a couple of times, but the singles is uh, a longer event, a five game that, event. Please. 20 inches from Jack and I. Did the double twice, didn't he? Yep. Both years he won the singles, he also won the open pairs as well, so really good, really good stuff. Seems to uh, keep his best, Mark Dawes, for the portable rink here at Potter's Resort. Just over the weight. I think you hold. Nothing easy about getting around this ball. Forehand's completely out of commission. So have to aim for a foot jack high and hope you bend inside that distance, not far away. Close. Well played, Mark. Yep, another really good draw. Time out, Well, what he's looking at down the backhand is getting into this ball at an angle to get to there, take the two out. Forehand, he's got a deep ball, so he could play off his own on the forehand. That backhand's, well, that's a, that's a hard shot to get the angle right. Trouble is, if he takes his own ball out in the forehand, it's going to cost him. Yeah, going for the backhand shot. Not far away. Um, got the split, needed the ball. One shot, Mark Dawes. Like you're saying, not an easy shot, that. Needed a, relying on a couple of different angles as well. So it's score 4 3 after six ends. It made sense to play it though because the forehand playing away weight, he was taking his own ball out, could have lost more. The percentage was definitely there down the backhand, no doubt about that, but still tricky. Sure, so the little squeaky measure comes out again. We love the squeaky measure, don't we? It's like a uh, fingernail down a chalkboard for me, to be yes, fair. Yes, it's. Uh, I can recommend a, a decent industrial lubricant that could sort that out. Good lad, I'll be very careful with it. Slice a finger very easily.
Check later. 23 metres. Receiving ball, good second. Between the two bowls, eleven inches. Don't waste any time, these players. They'll certainly ask questions, but <coughs> shot clock won't be troubled too much. Bump delivery. Michael Stepney, it's not a problem, does it all the time? No, it certainly hasn't done any harm. And red. Interesting about the one rule that the shot clock has really had an influence on. As we see this ball coming in, doesn't want to get the front green. Ooh, oh, mm. Not a bad place to finish, but it is offering a shoulder to Michael Stepney, and that is command of the rink, because whenever a player plays a ball, the opposition is not allowed anywhere between really the mat and the jack. He has command of the rink at that time, or she has, depending on who's playing. With shot clock, you have to walk up and down in a different way. Hold this. Doesn't mean it's missed, though. Missed me nearly. <laughs> it's just like that. One shot, Mark Dawes. Exactly. It always staggers me whenever I see people playing. Set score 5 3 and after 7 ends. Oh, goodness me. That was. I could easily have been flicked in. Just clipped the way. front bowl, wobbled oh. its way in. One roll too far for taking shot. You, know, you play down, and then a, a player comes up the rink to watch it coming down, and they don't command the rink. At that stage, they have to be behind the jack. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it's frustrating and it's breaking the rules. Jack Lake, 24 and, and a half um, It's quite annoying for a lot of people, but uh, fortunately, at the good, the big events, we have umpires that will pull that sort of behaviour. Not at local level, though, and it uh, shouldn't be done. Is that one of your biggest bugbears, then? Oh, no, no, it's well down the list. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, that's, that's so far down the list. That's, you know, many, many other things than that. Don't get me on people who can't reverse park. No, but I was thinking on the bowls green. Oh, right. Oh, well, that's... Can't just bring it into normal life. No, no.
not too much noise when the ball's green. Another good effort, just needs to arrive. That's enough. Seven inches. again. Oh, we didn't want to fall off it. A little bit unlucky. It's another shot, yes, Too but right. it's a double-sized target and he knows it. And Michael Stepney, I don't think he'll want uh, any more invitation here. He'll be down at this. He's very close. What about how he hits it? Well, he cleaned out his own, but no damage done. He's unlucky not to get the two, really. He made good contact. Just got one ball too full. One red. Clean on the wing red ball rather than in between the balls to get the split. Yeah. He almost spun back, didn't he? And, yeah. and got a slice of it, but not enough. Still, two down to one. Two balls are going, and Mark Dawes knows that. You make a connection with that last ball, and they'll both disappear, and it'll be two to green. And this is a massive end here. And the balls are closer this time than they were with the last shot. And big, big shot here from Michael Stepney. Going to the last end level, They're four down. They should both go. Close again. Very close. Yep, there they go. Has he got enough? I think he has. <laughs> he's definitely got enough for one. So yeah. He's got enough for two. <laughs> that's the second one. That's the interesting one. Got to be worth a measure. Two it? shots, Mike Stepney. Just in the two shots. The rings confirmed that. That was two, but I thought they might have measured it. So it's got 5-5 five, five after 8 tenths. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of pressure with the family. Oh, that was a fantastic ball to turn that around. Make it 5-all going into the last end of the first set. Really big ball when it mattered. Played it ends. Michael Stepney has scored on three. It's been singles all the way for Mark Dawes. But that shows where the quality of play Jack, is. And a half meters. Michael Stepney's had to play some very good <coughs> shots. But he's, he's picked up a, two doubles. Front toucher. Oh. Wow. Start between mine and the jerk. Two and a half inches. Might have to start thinking about this as a tie break end. Go deep, cover things. That first ball is very hard to beat. It's only three inches away. Yeah. There's the cover ball going in. 
Five, five inches short of Jack. Mm, it's more than that. It's five inches. Well, the ball's five inches in diameter. I think diameter. he. I think he asked what his was, Mark. Oh, his right. is five inches, I believe. Well, still room. He can draw it. It's just a tough one. And now he's got no back position on a short ball. One green. I think he's going to have to play this now. Play into it, take the ball out clean. Ball on the jack opens everything up. And I don't think that ball can go into the ditch with the jack because the back one should stop that. Clear something out, give himself a chance with his fourth ball. Needs a contact. He's got the shot ball. Yep, there yep. it goes, and he'll run through, but it. it'll be a mile away. You know, both both balls, probably, uh, might be well be one to green, but this is a one ball shootout now. And it's not easy. Look where the jack is. One red. Oh, it's one to red, but that doesn't make any difference. Not that distance, like you say. One ball each to come. It, it, it's how brave you want to be. Are you prepared to get within two feet of the ditch? Playing across the rink, which is the way to play it. Can't play the forehand because it'll just stand up. So a good line here. This is a really good line. How close can he get? He's going to drop in. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, That's the danger, isn't it? Trying to get as close as you possibly can, you just slightly overplay it, and you know, your place is well still miles away. Well, very sporting of Michael Stepney there, because Mark was going up to play his last ball just to make sure of the shot, but Michael said, No, nope, one to you. And uh, it's good to see. A lot of the top bowlers know each other well, and they just conceded it. it was obviously, going to draw it anyway, but good sportsmanship. Do come in, the questions are coming in on occasions. <laughs> Do the players from Lauren Fuller train equally to play oh, with both hands or Turn train one short. over the other? As in forehand and backhand, Shan? Yeah, well, I think. Uh, in an ideal world, you wouldn't have a preference between forehand and backhand. I think most players would say they favoured one over the other for a drive. Um, but obviously, you want to practice both equally so that you're not put in a position where you think, oh, I can't play that hand because I'm no good at it. So if you're practicing, I would say play equal bowls on forehand and backhand. And if you have a weakness, that's what you obviously need to practice the most. Alan Vickers, how do the players qualify for the World Bowls? Many players seem to be the same each year. Well, 
that's the top 16. The other qualifiers have to go through the qualifying network, and that's on the World Bolster and the PBA, Professional Bowls Association. And uh, they run qualifiers all over the country, all over the UK, and also abroad. So it's just a matter of going onto their website, and you just pay your money and have a go. Mark getting a really good connection there. Let's take the shot. Coming. Let's put his hand up to apologise. He didn't quite get it clean. Hashtag Ask Corby is always open for the good questions One red. and even the not so good. It's a calm start. Half an inch. <coughs> On my, my one. And yours, seven inches. It was a good result, but it wasn't outrageous. It wasn't outrageous, but it wasn't played for, and Mark acknowledged that. Mark Dawes comes from a crown green background of where he lives in the north of England and uh, big crown green country area in Manchester and oh he didn't play that well but he plays a quick game, fast game. I like the way the crown green play, I'm, I'm a great supporter of crown green bowls, I think it's, uh, it's a superb code within the sport of bowls. Now, Michael Stepney looking for ball on the jack or edge. It's to hold, yeah. Oh, no. Has he been lucky or not? Well, the ball's gone off. If his ball's gone off. He might still be holding one with the back. Well, don't know. Could be close. I might have a feeling that Mark thinks he might be lying, just looking at it. It's not a good angle for us. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely worth a measure anyway. Well, they're quite far away, aren't they? Yes, they're, they're about two metres away, and uh, Alan Thornhill will come out with a string measure, sort it out, and they can do it very quickly. Green first. Lock off on the touching, and then I'll go back to this one. Check it. Wow, that is close. That really is close. And then, yep, that's it. They knew it was enough because they were rock solid on the first one. So, worked out well. Good hit. Zero one after the first hit. Both players using the drive shot, the attacking shot. Both players being very accurate with it. In particular, Mike Stepney. Jack 25 and a half metres.
Very good correction. Mike Stepney, back touch or two. Reply from Mark Dawes, just try and draw a very good second. Wiggle right now, yep, it has. One green. Still won the green, but it's a much more secure second. Stop to get the ball absolutely clean. Maybe two, maybe three. Just overplayed it, but a chance here for Mark. He could squeeze that jack. It's likely to bounce out the side. He's so quick on the mat. Yeah, no messing around. It's very close. Can he hold? Just oh, goodness me. Just to go through that. Wow. One shot, Mike Stepney. <laughs> Set score zero two off the two end. The massive at Langham Glass trophy. It is superb. Beautiful piece of work. Twenty-four meters. <coughs> well, twenty-four meters is it's one meter over the minimum 23 but that makes it quite difficult to get your weight a lot of people think the closer the jack the easier but it's not Slightly stronger bias bowl. Michael Stepney, same make. It's a slightly different model. Two green. Well, that's unlike him not to make the correction.
free green. Another okay. shot, still yeah. space. The forehand offers a bit of a shoulder. Hence why he's moving. Try and get into the two bowls. This has to have good weight to get back. It's better this time. Yeah, it's coming back now. Good enough for shot. Yeah, well played. And a good shot as well. Yeah, well played. Too much space is left for him. Yeah. He's not going to miss it a third time. One red. I see him just drawing in here nicely. Three down, making shot. It is. He's good at remembering, isn't he? A short term attentive memory Two on shots, line and wit. So the score 2 2 after three ends. And levels the scores after three ends. Jack length, 25 metres. The accuracy of top bowlers never ceases to amaze people. One inch gap, and the players will still play to it. Four inches past Jack High. No, the expectation is you draw a good second, but um, they'll be trying to get the shot even at that distance. 24 metres. be tempted here to move on to the other side he is rest the ball off turn the jack very delicate shot but one he's so good at he's very close sit in the green bowl yeah put the shot oh. could have made two yep a little move on the jack could easily be two shots two red Sitting on the green bowl, sat down, got the got a bit of jack movement too. Oh, this is good. This is close. He's got the jack. Oh, right off the rink. He's in 
Crocodile's gone through into the ditch, but still on. Touch her in the ditch, that'll be marks and, uh, and there's an indicator put on to the side or the end of the rink on the ditch. There's the jack, Matt goes to the other side. And it's a one end shootout. One red. Brilliant, brilliant bow, and the touch too. Well, it's a pretty long head now, and he played the narrow side with the wider bowl, so there's plenty of room in terms of the width for Michael Stepney. There's just not plenty of room to get the shot, that's all. Always oh, push this out wide now. Yeah, he's wide up. It'll be interesting to see if this gets back. Here it comes. He's coming back now. Has it got the weight? Uh, just it helped the weight a little bit. Good effort. Shot, park doors. So it's score three, two after four ends. Jack length 24 and a half metres. Okay, Mike Stepney. Well, it's, once again, he's proving just how close this match is. Mark Dawes will be using a timeout here. Adds a little bit of time. Time out cold. What he's, what he's looking at is what's going to happen if he runs in. If he runs into the head and he gets onto the, the ball, the jack's going to go out the side. Gets onto that, his own ball will be removed and he'll be in deep trouble. So the way he's been drawing, I just, he could draw this. Yep, playing the forehand drop. That's what he came down to have a look at to see where the danger was and he's just over it with this one but at least it's another ball in the head. Two green.
Yep, he's waving at it, but it's good. Well, that absolutely kills off the forehand now. Yeah, it's got Creepy. to be something down the backhand. What sort of pace will he play? Well, I don't think he'll try and draw this. I have a feeling he'll punch into it. It's definitely worth arriving. You know, OK, his own front ball is not helpful, but uh, at the same time, he needs to make a contact. Yeah, just skirting his own front ball. He's got bowl or jack. Take the jack. He'll settle for that. Yep. Yep, he'll take that all day long. Three down to one up. I know there's another ball to come and he'll lose with a single, but... Right. Good hit, bang on target. I'll take a risk, I'll put this one on the card. You devil. I know. I live on the wild side. <laughs> he didn't he didn't exactly get close, well, but close think. enough. Set score three three after five ends. Well, it only has to be a fraction as long as it's in. Three all after five ends. It's exactly what it was on the first set. Three all after five ends. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Ball down, which uh, may may make two. I don't think it has, but it might. Yes, he knows he was just a little bit on the short side. <laughs> Inviting target that green ball, but uh, Michael Stepney aware of the fact he needs another one in. Here it comes. You're very good. Oh, uh, a touch in the jack that could make the three. Just coming in. In off his own back bowl to sit down three onto the jack. Measure. Yeah, two in a measure confirmed. Interesting to see why he plays this. Controlled weight. Just drawing and he's drawing to it. Wow. That's a confident shot. not going to get back. He was making sure he was there, but his weight was good. He just didn't make the move. This is this is a major, major danger here for Mark Dawes. Mike Stepney can bang one in in front of the jack.
He used to bend a lot. Well, I think it might force the issue now. It frames the uh, <coughs> frames the head nicely. That nicely for Mark. Well, I think he'll go to try and use that last ball. It could well be in. It could be three in a measure for four. So I think he'll try and use that ball or get to the jack. Well, it depends on what weight he uses. Oh my goodness me, he's going for the draw. Wow. Well, he's on a flatter line, so it must yeah. be a brave draw. No, I, I, going I just, under. Oh. It's hard to criticise a player of Mark Dawes ability and, and experience, but with that many against him, I am just amazed he didn't play with weight off the shoulder. I just think it looked quite oh, nice after Mike's Three last ball. Mm -hmm. I understand drawing on the third, but I just felt he might add even a yard on the last. Well, this is this is going to hurt. This could be the key end in this uh, particular set. Sure, how uh, his wife Ellen is during matches, but Orla looks like she's going through <laughs> a lot of pain. I think she's not a fan of the camera, Corky. Is that what it is? I think so. Uh, that's well it's fair enough. Can't happen. <laughs> I think if Alexander would be up there, he'd be all for it. Three shots, Mike Stepney. Couldn't separate the two balls, so they moved the jack away. So that's just the same, really, as Mark Dawes getting the fourth shot. It's a no score. Get set score, three, six after six ends. Big three, though. Pivotal time in the set as well. Yep, first three off the match. This is the Jack biggest gap there's been minutes. between the two players. Uh, seventh end coming up. Mark Dawes really has to score this end. going on there at the back. I hope it's not smoke. Someone making a noise back here. Oh, someone <laughs> making a noise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I th he's saying that he thinks it's the smoke machines yeah. making a noise. I thought it might be something to do with the smoke thing, so... <laughs> Hit the switch. Pull the plug. Job done. Maybe the wasps have got in it. Oh, dreaded insect infestation. Something we don't need. <laughs> Right, well, moving on after that slight interruption.
Didn't put Michael Stepney off. And the service resumed. Half an inch short. Struggling on the weight. Yep. One green. If anyone's hearing that creaking noise, it's just the portable rink. Just in case you thought that was me getting up and down out of my chair. Far too many people were agreeing with that. So in the meantime... Two green. Well, another big ball required here from Mark Dawes. This is going to be on top of it. Yep. Put that one on the scorecard, he says. Couldn't ask for better. <laughs> there it goes. And that is not beatable. So that one will go on the scorecard. It's just whether it's going to be one or two. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. But if you're going to bin it, that's the place to finish. How close can you get? Mm, that's room for a nice two here. And after losing a three, you really want to get two back. That would yep. be a very, very good reply. Playing the forehand, coming across it, staying away from Michael Stepney's ball. Now, how quick is this? Will mm, it stop in time? Oh. Well played. The rocking ball. Absolutely cracking ball. Two shots, smart doors. Set score five six after seven eight. Seventh end, so important if you're behind on the scorecard to score. So Mark Dawes given the target, took the opportunity, great strike. Ball follow through right into the ditch. And then of course his last bowl changes his hand, draws another for second. Michael like Stepney's reaction was enough, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, so, thank you very much, he said, mate. Much appreciate that. <laughs> Business end of the set, isn't it? The last three ends. Every one of them absolutely critical. Yeah, impossible to call between these two players at the moment. Playing some really, really good stuff.
One red. Mm, no correction made. I think Mark Dawes realises that his shot ball's just not close enough. Want one better than that. Not going to make it with this one. Oh dear. Oh, wow. Chance of Mike Stepney to get in. Ooh, Close this down is... this end. Well, yes, there's the shake of the head. He knows that this is just too many chances. Here it comes. Yeah. Well played. Well played. It, it, it was going to happen. It was going to happen. Um, that was the ball that Mark Dawes was looking for to go into the last Figure. end level. And now he's looking at a, well, it's two shots. Expect him to get second. He's playing the forehand. It's, well, he could get the shot, but the backhand is, a, is for second shot. Oh, what an effort this is. Oh, that is ridiculous. Absolutely outrageous ball. I was thinking he's playing the backhand four second shot, which was very brave of him yep. to do that. But in actual fact, draws right the way around the front short bowl. Touch of the jack, takes the shot himself. Brilliant bowl. Outrageously good. Michael Stepney must be then. What on earth have I got to do? Get a shot. Well, Mike has three down in the match. backhand, onto his own bowl. Yeah, plant there. Nice little solid plant. His own bowl's not going anywhere, but there's only one danger. If he gets inside it, and if he gets inside, yeah, the, the jack could potentially go through to the two back bowls, so he has to be a little bit careful. the forehand you draw it clean off he's in the area corky yeah. he's in the area corky oh goodness what an effort close but no cigar what an effort one shot mark doors oh fantastic Absolutely fantastic effort. So it scores 6-6 six, six yeah. after eight ends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, six all after eight ends. Five all after eight ends in the first set. I knew this was going to be close. I did say that, but uh, just no matter who was going to get the opportunity to win the match or to force a tie break, and that's where we are now. Jackley, 24 metres. Shot to Michael. The only danger here is dropping short. You do not want to be short to block things. You need to be up to the jack, just like this one. Nice. Between his ball and the jack? Three and a half inches. And then my ball in the line, releasing the jack. Your ball relation to Jack, four inches past Jack High. 
Well, if Mark does, two children, Thomas and Freddie, are watching this, Dad is doing well. One red. Well, he's looking at this thinking to himself, do I need to get to that ball and drop in behind? Or should I go deep on the head all the way round to the back? I'm thinking that Michael might just have a pop at it. You have to bear in mind that um, Michael Stepney has the last ball. I think I'd be going deep. Well, he only needs to tap the green ball to get the shot. So he might just decide to draw it, uh, Michael Stepney. So he could give the shot away. This is where the danger is that Mark Dawes could give the shot away if he plays the draw shot. Oh, you can't give the shot away. You just can't. No, he's not. He's, he's not even attempting to draw. He's going deep on it. Not quite sure really what side it's going to go to, but he's making sure he's covering the spot on one side. And it's up to Michael now. Does he draw or does he have a go at this? He can draw the shot or tap his own ball. Big decision to be made. Oh, he's going for it. He's got something. He's got the shot ball. Yeah, and it's gone the other side. But it has to stayed in the rink. That's the question. Let's see. Well, they're checking a ball on the other side first. Then we'll go and see where the jack it looks is. Like this, it's out. This will take a moment or two to sort out. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so there we go. Jack goes on the respot. I think Mark picked the wrong respot. <laughs> He's he was covering the other side of the ring. It's probably one to red, but goodness, this isn't easy because there's a blocker on the forehand which he's going to have to negotiate. Oh my goodness. Oh, he could lose this. Oh, wow. Plenty of room. Oh, wow. A what a ball. ball. Well played, Mark what Dawes. A well played. <laughs> what a oh, brilliant what a touch ball. Too. Oh, dear me. That came out of the hand, and I'm thinking, oh, he's in the side ditch. What a shot. Oh, you weren't sure who's dicing with death on the edge. Drew the perfect ball. A touch it to boot. Well, he's got a strong bias ball. He had to go out wide. Now, Michael, if it's two shots now, I have a feeling it probably is. He has a choice. He can play the stun shot, and that is to stun the ball and stay. Or he can play Jack in the ditch and try and bin it. Jack in the ditch. Finish it off. I think he has to go Jack in the ditch. I really do. And hope to get it right. Trouble is, if he gets it on the high side, it's going to the wrong, the wrong side of the, the the head. So let's just see if he gets to this. Plenty of weight. I think he's wide. Oh, he's wide. He knows himself. Oh, look. Two shots. Six out of the match. Great Mark effort. Goes. Great, great effort. A brilliant game. You can't say anything else other than a fantastic match. Two players so well matched and they played every shot in the book, Sean. I think to be honest with you, Mark Dawes, look, to be truthful, I couldn't say which player deserved to win because they both played so well. I was going to say, it was too close to call throughout most of the match. Some excellent bowls played, brilliant conversions, great hitting and superb drawing from both players. Well, confirmation of Mark Dawes' win. Get through to the quarterfinals. 6 5, 8 6. And that was so impressive, that game. It really was. Wonderful, wonderful balls of the highest level. We got draws, we got hit shots, we got conversions. Everything was played.
super, super match. But I'm not really sure the difficulty for Mark Dawes will be. Can he keep it going after that? He was just so good. And now we'll get an idea of just what the quality was in this match. Well, I'll send to Rishi that Michael Stepney had to play well to win this, and he did play very well because he was putting Mark Dawes under a lot of pressure. Mark Dawes drawing is where the key to his game is, but obviously the weight shots are very, very good. Michael Stepney was proving just what a good drawer he was as well. Drawing in for a third shot on that occasion. Both players enjoying the game, both playing quality ball, so you could relax and enjoy it. But once again, Mark Dawes showing that he can drive, and he pinned the jack and followed in after it. But he followed that up with another one to get a two. That was his <laughs> brilliant, brilliant last ball. And he really skirted with the edge. But on the day, Mark Dawes just got through. Oh, I knew this would be interesting with the 11-7, but Michael Stepney was scoring heavily with the twos and one three. Toucher's very level, total shot score, just that couple really at the, the last set and fantastic game. I don't think we could have asked for anything better than that at this stage. And Mark and Michael alongside me now, a truly entertaining and exciting match to watch. I'm obviously disappointed to come out on the wrong end of it, Michael, but a, a great match certainly for us to watch. Yeah, I thought I threw everything up, Mark, today. Uh, I was playing as good as I probably have done on the carpet and uh, Mark just came out with the big balls time after time and just done what you had to do. He certainly did. Um, Mark, if you don't mind, we're going to start off by asking you about how well you've had to play to defeat an opponent who played uh, as well as he did today. Yeah, I mean, Mike probably played slightly more consistent than me. I just managed to find two or three really big balls, got a couple of perfect results as well. Yeah. But yeah, I think, like I say, it was, I felt in a game you sometimes feel it's a good game. I felt like I was both playing well. Mike maybe just slightly edging it, but just managed to find one or two <laughs> big balls when you need them, fortunately. Uh, Michael referred to some big balls that you played as you did. Uh, we're going to look back at uh, ones from the last three ends and, and end seven. Uh, here you go. Uh, what's going through your mind here? Yeah, well, I think this is the one where I managed to hit a good runner, got a really maximum result, and then Mike had just had a little bit too much space and got a two. And, and at that time in the game, I'd been kind of struggling a little bit. I'd had a two or three ends where I'd been quite poor, and that managed to uh, just get me back into it. And similarly, in the penultimate end. Yeah, that was a bonus. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> just thought, get a good second, make it difficult for Mike to get a two, um, and then to draw it left him no shot, really. And what about this? Yeah, one part, I let go of it and thought, that's right out to the edge. That needs to kind of, don't do anything stupid. Uh, and it, and it, the fact that it got so close, that's, that's as close as I could have got. And it brought my back one in, and that meant that Mike couldn't just run my ball off. He had to get the jack as well, so it made it more difficult for him. Were you, were you ever worried that that might have just gone the wrong end, that last ball? Uh, when I let go of it, yeah, I, was, I, I thought it was decent, but then you're never quite sure. Sometimes you can just get dragged out a little bit, and I thought, oh, don't, don't, don't drag it out. Don't yeah. drop it in the ditch at this time of the <laughs> game. But, yeah, no, once it, once it started to bend, I knew I was all right. Well, fabulous match, as I said. Both of you have played extremely well. Uh, sadly, there has to be a loser today, unfortunately. It's Michael Stepney, but Mark Dawes, uh, two-time champion, through to the quarterfinals here at Potter's. Well, what a fabulous uh, game that was to finish the afternoon session here at Potter's Resorts. So let's have a look at what we have coming up for the rest of today. One more game for you at 7.30 for your enjoyment. It's going to be David Gull, AMBE, who will face England's Nick Brett. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for this afternoon. So until 7.30, it's bye-bye for now. <laughs>